Hello, my dear Capricorn. This is a love reading, a prediction for the month of October with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for September because that's the energy right now. And this will be the prediction for October. Due to illness, I will only read for half of the sign this week and the other half next week. And I will start reading your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot. So we'll start with the situation here and we have a nine of wands. Also in the bottom of the deck, we have a seven of swords here. Uh, so I'm feeling people are acting very suspicious towards each other at this point and um, probably feel like we have put a lot of effort into the relationship and that it wasn't appreciated by the other partner or that they didn't see us or see, <laughs> I wanted to say, our glory. So it might be someone that's a little bit full uh, of themselves in this equation as well and really needs um, to be, be applauded and appreciated and, you know, pet on the back and get like a lot of feedback for their uh, the things that they do uh, for you, for example. And here we have uh, your what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. And uh, we can see that you want reconciliation with this person. You probably don't want them to be angry and upset anymore. Uh, for you, it might have been like a minor thing that, um, that set off this situation. And for you, it doesn't seem as serious. You don't think that this was a big deal or that it could easily be fixed. Uh, but this person here, they have uh, an um, ego, a big ego. And uh, they really feel as if they're the glory of the sun. They are the glory of the sun at times. And uh, uh, with uh, whatever happened... Uh, they feel as if that glory was taken away from them and they are truly upset. Um, sometimes when a person has like a big ego, they are a little bit hollow inside because they don't have real self-love in the foundation. And that will make the person uh, like in, in dire need of your affection, your uh, like applause, that you are supporting the person, that you are saying that they are good enough because they don't have anyone inside of them saying that they're good enough. Uh, so they're spending a lot of time to be glorious and to be this sun in the sky for you and other people. And, and when something happens that rubs them the wrong way and, and makes them feel humiliated, that's really as if the sky fell down. And for you, it's just probably a minor thing. And you think, well, that wasn't that bad and uh, we can fix it. I just said this thing and it was even the truth. <laughs> so sorry. And here we have, <laughs> sorry, the <clears throat> so I will try to say that again. Here we have the truth. Also, the sun card is truth, but both are in the reversed. So I don't think that this person wants to hear the truth. Uh, the truth is um, nothing that they want to hear from your mouth. They want you to just, uh, you know, build them up and... Um, like butter them a little bit and um, tell them what a wonderful person they are. So even if you are right, uh, this person is not acting with logic, okay? Uh, so even if you uh, would want to step forward to this person and, you know, apologize for them getting feeling so humiliated, they probably wouldn't take this um, uh, apology. They would... Um, they are too irritated at this point. Okay, so this is uh, your feelings towards them. And we have the lovers, which goes very well with the six of cups here. Um, okay, so. Um, hmm. I'm feeling that you are very calm in this situation. Um, for you, you don't take this personally. You might be a little bit like you're empathic towards them. Uh, and uh, understand that um, people can get overdramatic at times. Uh, but it's uh, like a beautiful warmth that comes from you. Uh, I hope that you don't take, uh, take this to heart too much. Um, this is just like a three-year-old having a, a tantrum, okay? So, 
this is their feelings towards you and we have a two of coins so they are ready to drop the ball on you and to drop the ball on the whole relationship and to give this darn thing up because uh, you know it's not stroking them petting them the wrong uh, the right way so they're really upset with you I wonder what you did <laughs> okay <clears throat> so this is uh, your behaviors and attitudes attitudes sorry and we have the seven of wands in the reversed so that's not strange at all it just shows that you don't know what you're fighting for uh, so you don't want to fight for it because you don't know what the problem is even you don't know what set this person off for um, why they're acting in this strange way so it's basically as you don't bother too much with this you just like ah, I can't I can't bother myself with this because I don't even understand what's going on and this is uh, the other person's behaviors and attitudes and we have the hermit in the reverse so they genuinely feel hurt uh, but uh, and, but it's easy to make jokes about this since they have probably no reason or very little reason to feel hurt it more looks like their ego has been bruised and uh, and it probably needs to be bruised like the whole ego probably needs to die for the real entity inside to come out and um like they can be their real authentic self. And that's why things are so illogic because they are not being their real authentic self. They are being uh, like just a shell of a person here. So we'll see what's going on with this person, why they are acting in this way. I cry myself to sleep. Okay, so I have a little bit more empathy for them right now. And I need you in my life. Okay. So when I shuffled the card, it came out like the emperor in the reverse, the chariot, and again and again, these kind of cards. Uh, so they felt like a real badass to me, but I can see that there's an uh, uh, opening here in this person's heart. I think this whatever happens is good for them uh, because it might throw them back to the original trauma uh, and the part of them that got traumatized because that part needs to be healed and it can't be healed if the person doesn't know that it's broken so it's first when they feel pain uh, feel humiliation feel uh, cry themselves to sleep and feel like lonely without you uh, that they can start to connect with this part of them that was probably tossed uh, you know in a deep well uh, like a long time ago maybe when they were a child they got some uh, trauma that led to almost like a narcissistic injury is what I'm seeing with this person but it doesn't have to be uh, that um, serious it's different uh, degrees and for some people it will be you're dealing with a narcissist uh, and for other it will just be a person that got very humiliated for uh, probably a smaller thing because I don't see your reaction here it's like you are a little bit but I love you <laughs> so it's very sweet but I will look a little bit deeper <laughs> maybe we can see what you did okay <clears throat> I want to find someone new I'm lost without you um, I still feel the same warmth here I want to find someone new you probably um, I don't see you want someone new you want this person but uh, since they are acting very strange and maybe they have alienated themselves from you for a very long time and, and you would want to instead of waiting for a reconciliation with this person you want to give up and, and, and find someone new but in the same time I think you compare a lot of um, like the new <laughs> with uh, this person because usually we are more um, we are more nostalgic about the people that we are, we are with or have been with we have more bonds with them, more memories with them than a new person. So it's very hard sometimes to break free from a relationship, even if it's with a person that's on the surface at least looks a little bit impossible because we have made a lot of um, memories with that person and we have a lot of attachment to that person. Uh, but I see that you also realize as I that the relationship, the situation is not logic. The person is asking something from you that they would probably not ask for themselves. They don't need, you don't need to be pampered like this, but they need it. So it's unfair and therefore you want to, you probably want to exchange. You don't want to feel the love for this person. You want to find someone new, but we can't just exchange people like we exchange socks 
Uh, so it usually needs to come a time of grief and um, where we kind of heal what we have been through and um, slowly, slowly let go of that person. Because if we meet a new person, when we're still in love with the old person, uh, we might um, not be so kind towards that new person. They just become the rebound girl or the rebound guy. Uh, so I will see this person's intentions towards you for the future and from the past, maybe. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. Hmm. Uh, like the chaser usually aren't uh, the narcissistic one in the relationship. It's usually the runner that's... Uh, chaser abundance. Ah, oh, okay. So I think they loved it when you were the chaser. Uh, and that gave them a lot of uh, like what they needed when they run away from you and you run after that made them feel like uh, like then everything was as it should be. You know, of course, they probably felt lonely when they had to run away from you, but at least they saw that you care, you cared and maybe you stopped doing this. I can't see this in the reading, but um, it's the most that makes most sense that you stop doing this and and maybe that's why they are pissed off with you uh, so and your intentions then so we have girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so it's kind of the seven of wands you decide that ah oh, this is crazy I can't invest myself in a situation that's like this so I will just take care of myself uh, from this point on Let's see if we can have one more not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundaries still angry um yes you are i think you are entitled to be angry because i feel like a lot of love from you and this person acted like this of course this will uh, make you a tad bit uh, upset <laughs> that uh, um, they don't seem like they don't act normally considerate towards you. So they don't take consideration towards you. And that makes you feel like you want to drop them too. They want to drop you, but that's obvious. Um, but then underneath the surface, they don't. They just want you to chase them. Okay. So the outcome for October is the tower in the reverse together with the golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Uh, so it's a little bit of a house of cards that's falling because it was built on you uh, building up this person's tower, like their ego, uh, with being the chaser, not being nur nurtured enough in the relationship uh, and having to chase for what you needed. So that built this person up and they felt like they were like the, the sun, <laughs> the light in your life. And as long as that dynamic was on, uh, everything was fine for this person but then you probably started to feel as you deserve better and you did certain changes uh, that made this person really upset and you felt like but I'm standing up for love and equalness and you know uh, true loyalty between people and we are supposed to be like this and this person is just upset because they can't squeeze like every little drop of energy out of you so they probably stole a lot of your energy uh, in the past but it's not a bad person it's just it's a traumatized person they are hollow because of trauma so what does the divine have to say for outcome let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so it's nothing more that you can do in this situation uh, as of now uh, so your decision here with the seven of wands in the reverse to stop fighting stop caring uh, is totally right like you go with the flow accept that things uh, in this relationship isn't in the way you wanted them to be uh, but you are not going to be held hostage um, by by someone that can't uh, give you equal and just fair love uh, so but because that's the only thing you ask for uh, so it's balance balance and, and balance in these cars we're trying to keep balance but this person doesn't want to give you equality. Uh, they want to take from you so that they can fill their hollow self, uh, which has been hollow because of something that would resemble a narcissistic in injury or is actually a narcissistic injury. So this is um, the advice for you. So um, I will read a little bit of this card for you. 
I'm really sorry for my crappy voice, but at least I try. <laughs> at least I try to do my um, <laughs> due diligence here and, and read for you. So, uh, Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced by... Uh, something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. The, the world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment you are radiating a regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. So just let go. Don't try to dictate the future and things will solve in its own uh, magical ways uh, for you, Capricorn. So as an extended member to the channel, you get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week. Subscribe and then check out the many perks to the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And if you're not a member to the channel, you can watch the reading The True Thoughts and Feelings to get more information about this situation or the What Do They Want to Happen Between You Two that will probably tell, me, tell you more. At my first channel page, you will find a playlist for your astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. On the end screen you will see the link to that playlist so go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching and take really good care, stay healthy. Until next time and bye for now.